Hello everyone! As you can see, we are in Leoi today! It's raining! Look at how misty the city looks. It's beautiful. Also, look what I've noticed. You can see uh, the Inazuma Mount Yogo. What's it called? Mount Yogo? You can see it now. It's this guy. Yeah. Now that we've purified the sacred soccer, I think it's brighter. More something. Because you can see that from all over uh, Tevas. At least I saw it over... <gasps> oh, thank god. I could see it from my island. I was very worried that I'd accidentally teleported away and let my, <laughs> my my teleport expire. But it looks like it's still there. But look, there it is! Isn't that beautiful? Grabs. One. No, we'll come back here. Two. Anyways. So, um, we were in Liyue for a split second there because I have decided it is time, it is time I have decided I want to do some Liyue story quests. And I think we're going to start with Zhongli's because he has two of them so we need to start getting through them and also i do believe that his are first in line anyways so that's the plan for today is this a little out of the blue quite possibly but i've decided it's what i want to do <laughs> so over here yeah see there they are i really want to do childs as well and i still haven't met hu tao so i want to do hers as well so i figured it'd be nice to start with chong lee's now we need to be careful because right over here with Leo Catherine is this in the depths an unexpected reunion. I don't know what that's about. And I believe it's the next in our general line of quests. Looks like it. Oh, and it's a travel quest too. Oh my goodness. An unexpected reunion. Oh my goodness. That'll be that'll be fun. That'll be interesting. So we need to be careful. It's quite possible that I'm going to start this quest and it's going to go say, talk to Leo and Catherine, and we're just going to have to stop the quest. But I'm very much hoping that we will be able to do this. I'm nervous thinking that if we get even too close to Catherine, we might have to bail, but we were going to give it a try. I've decided I want to do this quest, so we're going to give it a try. Let's do it. Look at this. I love how the Archons, I think, right? Yeah, their constellations are themselves. That's really neat. Where is he? Shadow of Yore. And it's from- he's at the Pearl Galley! Oh, fun! How do I get there, though? I know I can get there from the harbor. Somewhere. Would that be here? Oh, this is my bad for never- ooh, a chest over there. Let's go over there. This is my bad for never trying to get to the boat. After I unlocked the ability to. Over there. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh, Leo music. It's been so long. Oh, look. I can see it from here. Let's maintain our height. I want to be able to get all the way over there to that water. Or not in the water, that is. Hee hee hee. Excellent job, Kazuha. You get to open the chest. Brings a smile to my face. You and me both, my friend. Can't go in there. Oh! Almost fell. <laughs> now, I'm sure there are more around, but I kind of don't want to use the, um... Compass, actually. I like just randomly finding them. So, let us go up. Oh, I love the woodwork. It's gorgeous. Over the fence. Let's get that off our map because we've collected it already. So now I'm looking for the person who will take us to the boat. I can talk to you. Let's talk to her. Hello. So, next on the agenda, eh? Is this all? How's work coming along? My father's been getting on in years lately, so I asked for a transfer. Now that I'm in a more leisurely department, I finally have time to spend with my family after work. Now that I have some room to breathe, I can't even recall how I managed to take on so many tasks. Many of them weren't even my responsibilities, but I just couldn't help putting my nose in there. <laughs> I was so strong back then, eh? The past, you? <sighs> Did you ever spend a lantern right here in Lewe? I was the previous planner of the event. Of course, lantern right is the biggest festival of the year. Everyone in Lewe Harbor comes out to celebrate it together. One planner can't handle an event of that magnitude. But Liyue Harbor's high population and complex environment 
means that there are still very many issues for each planner to consider. Like the lack of guardrails at the wharf, the crowding at food stalls in Shihu Rock, the cats and dogs run and running all round all over the place, there's so much to consider. No, no, I'm starting to think like a planner again. That's not my job anymore. I should just get off work and go take care of my father. Ooh, that's cool. The planner of lantern right. What a distinguished position that is. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the person who can get us to the Pearl Galley. Hey, Nervous Anne. Long time no see. Him. And I know that usually there's somebody with a boat. Ooh. I feel like I've seen those names before. Have I seen your names before? I feel like I've seen your names before somewhere. Chelsea, you're, you finally returned. Let's settle our engagement plans while you're back this time. What do you say? Oh, a sailor, wasn't he? Yep, sissy, I literally just got back from the sea and I'm completely drained, mentally and physically. Let's talk about it later. Hmm. But that's what you said last time, and before I knew it, you were running off with some other girl. Cece, this is a red flag, I'm sorry to say. I know you. it seems like you want to seal the deal to make sure that he's yours, but I don't know if I would, if I would go that route. I think you should just let him go. Come now, don't be that way. We're just friends, nothing more. If you two are just friends, then what are you so worried about? Why can't we get engaged? There you go again. I don't have any intention of getting married yet. It's not that I can't shoulder the responsibility, Cece. It's just that I don't want to disappoint you, that's all. I'm a sailor, and the sea is always calling me. There's no escaping it. You might as well just consider me swallowed by the waves already. You deserve someone better. Don't talk like that, Chelsea. I know that you'll be just fine. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's not my business. I have no right to offer you relationship advice. I don't even know you. But that seems a little suspicious. But he does make a good argument. That he's a sailor, so he'll be away a lot. But it also doesn't seem like she minds that he's a sailor. She just wants him to commit to her while he's here. Alright, I'm trying to avoid that orange dot, actually. That's on my map. I am trying to find the boat person. For the boat. Hello, person. Hello, people. I'm looking for anybody with a name that I can talk to. Ooh. Oh, is this... Are you Atsuko? It is Atsuko! This might be the guy. Hey, are you the Pearl Galley guy? Yes. The Pearl Galley is where I'm bound. Ah, forgive me. So you are to be an honored guest. Come this way, please. Thank you. Found him. I knew he existed. Wow, that was... <gasps> Oh my god, he's right there! Oh, I'm so happy. And he's talking to a bunch of archaeologists. That's really funny. I've talked to these people before, but I don't really recall what they said, and I want to see if they'll say anything new. Luo Feng says, It is an honor to meet you. Might I ask for your name? Oh, oh, they all just left. Nobody else wants to talk to me. I'm just an ordinary traveler. What are you doing? Let's see. Don't be so modest. You may be young, but I can see that you have infinite potential. My name is Lua Fong, a merchant. If you should have need of me in the future, please do not hesitate to ask. Of course, one good turn deserves another. Should I ever need your, assist your assistance, please come to my aid then. That's fair. Are you going to vanish now? You are. <laughs> Connoisseur catalog. I remember this. The names of the flowers on this painted boat are Black Jade, White Jade, Colored Jade, Jasper Hairpin, Hidden Flower. Artful spring, luminescent gem, colored emerald, intimate rain, young emerald. Love pearl, black robe, brilliant feathers, colored pouch, distant vine. I remember that. That was there last time. We have Uncle Zhao on security. Oh, and I got too close to Zhongli. Oh, <gasps> there he is! Oh, I didn't think I would see you here. That was cool. He noticed us behind him. Are these two your friends? Yes, we had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. His voice, it's been so long since I've heard him speak, it sounds so different. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. <laughs> Would you like to listen? <laughs> were you now? Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. 
Really? As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. Well, that's quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Actually, he is. Except we don't want to blow his cover, so maybe we will instead say, No one knows better than him. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. Also, look at that teapot. It's beautiful, that tea set. The whereabouts of the first Mora. Now, that's actually a really interesting topic that I would like to know as well. The first Mora? As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Liyue the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tivat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. Well, now that he's believed to be departed from this world, I wonder how the rights to cast Mora will rebalance. That'll be interesting. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, Perhaps the Qixing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. This is a really fascinating topic, to be honest. I would be all over this if it was a real-life conversation about where the first coin was in the world. Can you imagine? I mean... In our world, we have different types of coins being used, so it's not so simple. But if you could find the first one ever made, that would be incredible. I mean, how would you be able to tell? To be honest, you'd probably be quite destroyed at this point, but... Mora is a that would be cool. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. Huh? That's true, you do have to pay Mora in order to enhance a weapon. And, uh, you know, I was thinking it was because we're paying some smith to do the enhancement for us, but the way they speak about it, didn't Zhongli, no, not Zhongli, but the, the loading screens say that Mora is a catalyst, don't they? So it seems that the Mora itself is used in the enhancement? Interesting. I guess in this world, money, that is Mora, has its own imbued power. That's cool. The world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power. My next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. Would it have the strongest power, or do you think it would go in the direction of the sigils of the sigils of permission, where the power faded over time? That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. Hey, Jolene, can we talk to you over in the corner for a second? I have a question I want to ask you that I'm very curious to hear the answer about. A dagger and a sword? Specifically, which dagger and which sword? Well, buy the book when it comes out to read the full story. <laughs> for now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in Liyue. And the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liyue's sovereign. That seems a little contradictory. How can you both be supreme but not the sovereign if somebody else finds the sword? Also, I highly doubt that. I can't say I agree. <laughs> yeah. In this day and age, they wouldn't, I don't think they would choose their next sovereign, shall we say, based on which artifacts they hold. We're definitely pivoting in a direction of the person who controls Lewe, or the people, should we say, who do the most work for it. <laughs> Let us not this speak be of fun. the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. He doesn't even know where it is. That's fun. I wonder if he could find it if he wanted to. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? Even 
if he had profound foresight. What would be there to profoundly foresee about a single Mora? He doesn't seem the type to be, ah, this Mora, it will be so precious in the future. I will save it so that they can put it in a museum in the future. I think he's more practical than that. Though he likes preserving and honoring cultural traditions. Doesn't seem the type to, you know, put something that he made himself in a museum just because he made it himself. You know, he doesn't have that kind of ego. No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough! Do you think you understand <laughs> the Lord of Geo more than me? And we get the exact same dialogue options as before. Actually, he is, and no one knows better than him. I know but little about history, and I wouldn't <laughs> dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? <laughs> That's really funny if it was. That is correct, indeed. I'm assuming that it was made that way simply because he has the ability to make things out of Mora. And so when he was making a home to demonstrate, he just made it out of Mora. Okay, then tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Exactly. He could make the stuff out of thin air, right? So, if he wanted to make a house out of thin air, he would make it out of the material that he could make out of thin air, no? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's huh. like you're telling someone... It's like you're telling someone else's tale. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. You sure are. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. About archaeology. Quiet to chat. I mean, if it's okay with you. Do you think she suspects? Oh, it's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. Who me? I'm just here for a good story. Of course, they can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. I think she's going to ask him for a favor because he seems so knowledgeable. I don't think she's quite made the connection yet. Sal Flore. Flore. Sal meaning salt. The Lord salt. of Geo sure is something. Maybe. I've barely been gone and already his name is being slandered. You'll never Although believe who's doing the, the slandering. Of humankind. Surely we must still show a measure of respect for the gods of the past. Again, you will never believe who's doing the slandering. Sal Flore. I believe Flore meaning flower, right? This is Oh, there they are. Oh, I thought they went the other direction, so I went this way to investigate. Now, there was a chest on here way back in the day. I'm pretty sure I already got it, but let's just make sure. I did not! Haha! -ha. I'll keep this close. Fantastic. That means that's probably what's on the map, isn't it? Yep. Alright. <sighs> that was the chest that got me in trouble way back in the day. I was looking for oculi. And I thought maybe there would be one on this boat. Oh, goodness gracious. And I saw the chest. And I tried to get the chest. And then all of a sudden I was pulled into a cutscene. So that was one of the few episodes that starts with me being like, Hey guys! So, I accidentally triggered a cutscene. Those always crack me up. I honestly think it might be the only episode in which that happened. I'm trying to see. Here we go. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. Oh? So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. I wonder if she would say if she knew to whom she was speaking, but I get the feeling that it's not... I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. Exactly. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question. Oh, it would have been so interesting to have done this quest before going to to uh, Inazuma, because the Electro Archon killed um, the Serpent God. Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. 
Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. That's a delightful answer. Interesting. Right! The Lord of Geo wouldn't kill the innocent. Oh no, is this whole quest going to revolve around the fact that he accidentally slew some god he shouldn't have? But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the god of salt. Oh, hence the name of the, the, the quest. I think it's salt flower. Flower of salt? Flores, I don't know what form that is. Flowers of salt? The god of salt, Havria, was a very kind god. But she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to assassinate her. Ah, hence why she was worried that this might be taken badly as her speaking ill of Morax, but... What? No way! What does he have to say? This... This bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. I love how concerned Paimon looks. She's so empathetic for this long dead god that she's never heard of before. She's so concerned. Don't worry, please I love tell that about her. No, This event... I've already searched for answers for a long time. You look a bit embarrassed, Jungli. Is the story that complicated? Quite so. I don't know where to begin. From the beginning? Are we going to get an animated cutscene, do you think? Oh! No, we're going to get the Fatui! Jungli, I've been looking for you. <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. <laughs> I forgot that the Fatui liked Jungli. That's so funny. The Fatui! What do you want? Spit it out. Put down your weapon and stay back. Otherwise... Uh, Paimon's reporting you to the Millilith. The second we see the Fatui, we're just ready to square up. First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. <laughs> There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. There are so many archaeologists on this boat. The Fatui say that every time. <laughs> True. At this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. That is so funny. <laughs> he hired a god. <laughs> That's great. I mean, honestly, I think Zhang Li would really enjoy the experience, don't you think? So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? What should we do? I think it's best to be cautious. <laughs> well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must mm -hmm. respect their duty. I was thinking he would probably really, I don't know about enjoy, but definitely respect the act of being hired because that's another form of contract, isn't it? Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Well, speaking of being reasonable, let us finish our conversation first, no? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. Why? I don't really know anything about archaeology. <laughs> this experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. I'm down, let's go. It is a story from before the rise of the Seven. Ooh. Although the God of Salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it would be. This is... wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. <laughs> That's too many people. You're getting the free services of another expert archaeologist and the literal traveler and Paimon. I don't think you should complain. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed <laughs> by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. I love how, even though she's gone back to a kind of neutral look, Vega still looks so unimpressed. Just looking at this Fatui guy. Something about her. A little unfriendly right now. Oh? What talent? It's called Paimon. If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. <laughs> oh, this is ironic. I'm thinking of that one treasure chest by that one tree in Liyue that I still haven't figured out how to open. Hey, one day. Paimon's good at that too! Yes, it's the Paimon instinct, I would say. Well, that is quite enticing. 
All right then. That's our resume. Expert treasure chest opener. Well, let's and go. And it worked no apparently. Time to waste. When the overlord of the vortex was crushed by the jade chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. Recently. Oops. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the god's limb would be even better. Who knows what surprises we may find. So you can figure out how to design your device that will turn it into a mechanized war god. Does everybody remember when the Fatui tried to turn the overlord of the vortex into a mechanized war god? Because I do. Go to the stone forest. Okay. Let's just teleport there. Over here. What's this? Chest. 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 You are kidding me. I need to clean up my map, apparently. Oh, wait. We're going to ignore the beam of light. We're going to go uh, that way. Because apparently there's three chests over there. Well, there's this thing that we already did. That's good. Got that one. What's over here? Sweet flower. Thank you. I'm never going to look at sweet flowers the same way, am I? Sweet flowers or just whopper flowers in general. Oh yeah, because guess what I just recorded? I recorded very recently the, um, whatever it's called. <laughs> Shadows amid snowstorms, which I've been trying to get to forever. And I am absolutely overjoyed to have gotten to. It was such a delight to experience. Oh my goodness, Kazuha. You are flying around all over the place. Speaking of Kazuha, did I already check his sword? I wanted to see if I could get him a better sword for him. Um, someone in the comments was saying that Iron Sting would be fantastic for him. It's just that- that's- Kaya has that one. It is EM though. Hmm. Crit damage. I'm going to keep him where he is. Iron Sting is forgeable, no? I could make a second one, which is not something I'm completely excited about doing, but I could always use it to refine this one. That'd be fun. Anyways, we'll just stay as we are for- Ooh! Hello! Speaking of which... Shall we fight it? I want to fight it. It's going to be Cryo, too. Hi, buddy! Let's look at your design. Look at this guy. I'm just- I'm just- I cannot- Shadows and Miss Snowstorms was so good. If you haven't played that event, you should definitely watch it back because it was so good. Or at least I really enjoyed it. But then again, we all know who my favorite character is, so... <laughs> of course I loved it. Oh, nice! Got through its shield. Good job, good job. Oh! And did you grab those berries and bring them over? Very kind of you. Out of the way. And we won. And we got stuff for Mona. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Oh, this guy. Yeah, we could fight with this guy. We'll survive, I bet. All right, me. What do you mean there's a chest right here? I see no chest. Vasily. Oh, there's one. Hey, little guy. A reward on the road. Thank you very much. So that was this one. And there's one out there? Okay. Oh, whoops. Get this seashell. Hello. There is a chest. I remember this. Didn't I ice bridge all the way over from those cliffs a while back? And I found it very ironic that the path that I chose dropped me right in front of this guy. Oh! Oh, that's so funny. This guy's chasing me and he got frozen. That is hilarious. Oh, now he's resetting. Of course he is. I wonder if I can defeat him before he resets. Darn it. Never mind. Well, maybe if I defeat him, actually, that'll be the third chest. Alright, let's fight him. going over here to know that this is his territory. Delete that thing. Slowly getting ourselves more map pins. Alright, buddy, come at me. That's not coming at me, that's just standing there. Alright, he's resetting. Pay your dues. There we go, great. This will be frozen in time. And down, up, down. Swirl, I am now prepared. Thank you for waiting. This. And... Oh, let's get him back into the swirl, and he did. Good job. He came back into the circle. And she left it again, but that's fine. Nice. Very nice. I've been thinking that. So yeah, see, look at that. There it is. I hope we find long lost ancient literature. As always, me too. 
So I have been thinking that since we're back in Lewe, we might have to change the party around a little bit to get ourselves a Claymore. Um, but I'm willing to try it out first with Kazuha and just see how things go. Ooh, except this is one of my ore deposits. I was going to bring Razor back if we needed him, and I do want him back for the moment. Because he can do his mining trick. Where is he? Here he is. I'll watch your back. Thank you, Razor. Nice. Alright, let's get this ore. I really need more... What's this called? Magical crystal chunk? I need a lot of that. I have none left. I'm exaggerating. I have a little bit left, but... Not so much that I don't want to collect every bit that I see. Alright. Um... Let's bring Kazuha back. Just because as our newest right. Let's head and most sparkly boy, I want to use him the most. Alright, Zhongli, thank you for waiting. I already forget the Fatui guy's name. Here we are. Do you see anything? This place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? You're the one who brought us here. You're the one who wrote the grant proposal. Huh? Hyman thinks it looks really grand. True. The rock formations are fantastic. I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Right, because this is where the, um, Osile was trapped, right? Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. And is that legend true, Zhongli? After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. So one gets the feeling that it is indeed true, in which case, oh my goodness gracious, those are some big spears. These mountains were the Lord of Geo's weapons? Are you looking at him in a new light, Paimon? What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater, both in number and in size. Oh my god. It, it must have blocked out the sky, goodness gracious. But due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyan Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. That's what you took away from that? Indeed. Okay. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. Zhongli's design is just so good. The, the coat is so gorgeous. Oh my god. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich. That's <laughs> So that's your goal here. Uh, I mean, rich with archaeological knowledge and historical value, yes? <laughs> that's all I seek in life. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it is. Well. Since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get That'd it. Be nice. I'll escort him then. Also, this gives them the chance to finish their conversation. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. Alrighty. Are we looking for stuff then? Aw, the Paimon just vanished. The ancient probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following oh, them should make our search much easier. You don't say. Go ahead then. Use your elemental sight to look for any marks. Thank you for your wisdom. I'm on and Zhongli. Ooh, is that a chest over there? Time Look at go. all these chests I've never collected. My goodness. Oh my god. Whoa. Here I thought, let me just collect them to make this battle easier, but no. Uh, the battle's over. That was the battle. Okay. Dodge 
Oh, darn it. <laughs> right as the swords go away. Always happens. Okay. Speaking of which, let me just check his artifacts really quick. Because I have been working on that domain a little bit more. I want to see if I got something for his four stars. Nope, that's still four star there. And, ooh, okay, we can do something here. Defense, what do you want? Attack, energy recharge, basically. Defense. Ooh. Ooh. Energy recharge is already better, and attack is already better. Yeah, swap. Should I enhance this at all? I think that's maximum, um, substats, right? Yeah, you only get four. So I can't get an EM on that. Anything else I can enhance, just to see if I'll get an EM. Oh, this has EM. I could see if it'll inc increase. Yeah. I want to see if I can get his EM to enhance. There you go. A little bit more. First we get- oh. Oh my. The people in the comments were saying that I shouldn't build him as a DPS. That's fair, you know what, that's fair. Unless I get him C6 or something, which I don't ever imagine will happen- YES! Oh, I'm very happy about that. Anyways, I don't imagine that'll happen anytime soon, if ever. But it really seems like the game is just making me build him as a DPS. <laughs> um... Which is... Yeah, you know what? That's fair, that's fair. And we're max level. Okay, I'm happy though. We got it into Elemental Mastery. So what is he at now? 96 to 182. Let's compare him to Nahida, because I know that she has the highest. 269, I mean, that's not bad. All right? A little bit behind, but not terrible, I think. So now I just want to get this guy. I wonder if I could do... This is just attack and crit damage, and he has a four-piece set otherwise. I wonder if I can... Do... Can I do this? Do you think? And... Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute, what do you want? Ooh. I could swap him. That could be nice. But if I take off... The filter... Are these all EM now? No, they're not. Why not? There we go. You are EM. You're EM. Ooh. I like the crit rate. Well, I like the energy recharge more, to be honest. 28, 28. Is 28 standard? Yes. Ooh. Energy of recharge. Let's lock that. It's a four star anyways. It's fine. Um. I'm just gonna look at all these. Okay, so what is he on? He's on attack and crit damage. EM. I like the energy of recharge. It's a three star though. So it could be better. But it's <laughs> because it's um leveled, it's better than the five star base. Oh, except for the energy recharge. This could be really nice for him, actually. No? Let's give this to him for now. Um, let's check with anybody else. Energy recharge, elemental mastery twenty three. Oh, this is where our elemental mastery ends, right there. Okay. Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's why it goes from four stars to five stars. I see how this works now. Crit damage and defense and HP. I really like the energy recharge though, on top of the elements of mastery. Yeah, I think I'm happy with him there. So he's got one that doesn't match a set because he already gets the four piece set from the other stuff. Should I level this, do you think? Um, hydro damage, elemental skill. Hmm. I think I will not. Or should I? Let's enhance it until we get the next substat. Just so that there's a little bit of effort put into it. Hey, there we go. Attack. It's flat attack, but it's still attack. Now he has 14 more attack than he would have if we didn't do that. Math. Science. We love it. Alright, we're in our target area now. Yes, indeed we are. And I love this song. Let's get this, and then there's an exploding barrel right around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, there's another chest, isn't there? Let's get that chest. Hey guys! Oh! That's why this chest isn't normally there, because it's totally part of, it's part of the quest! Ouch. <laughs> I want him to get the sword, so I'm just gonna stay on him for a little while. I know I can't get through that shield, but I don't have a fire character anyway, so... Now that you're not looking at me, I can do this. No! 
Nice. Okay. Delightful. Alrighty. Open the chest. Hello. Why are there enemies here? Used training dummy. Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated. And its remnants still affect the area to this day. No, we should probably go through the middle, shouldn't we? I've already gone around the outside many a times to get to that season, so anything that's on the outside I think I will have already gotten. Hello, hello. I'm actually not here to fight you, am I? But I will, because you are fighting me. Alright, come down from there, won't you? Note to self, I think doing elemental abilities- oops! Before the um, swirl, they'll do better. Because then they can swirl, <laughs> as one might imagine. Alright, there's that guy. This. That. Get him with this. There we go, yeah, we swirled the um, cryo. Okay, I'm happy with that. Ouch. Poor Kaya, he always gets smacked with that thing. That's really funny. There he goes. Okay, okay. So even though we don't have our claymore, we're working through those shields with swirling. Somehow. I guess it makes sense. It's kind of going around the shield rather than through it. Anyways, I know I need to go this way because I can see it on the map. Oh, hello. Are you my opponents? Uh, oh, no. Do I want this core lapis? Is that what I'm after? Ooh. Okay, fine. Because you're an animo guy, you're going to be bullying me all over the place. What's the hurry? Let's go fight this guy. Oh, Krabby! Yay. Let's try to pick up the spire. Into the wind. Success. Ouch. Still got hurt, though. Unfortunate. And Kaya. There we go. Let's get some of this. With nature. Oops. <laughs> Went into the cooking menu. What day is it? Oh, it's Monday. You know what? I should cook, actually. Um, I'm going to make sweet madams. I'm going to try to swap over from my expensive monster hash browns to sweet madams. So let's make 20 of these. I'm 20. But how many... How many revival foods do I have? It's probably not a lot. What are your guys' revival foods? I might be doing overkill with the crab ham and veggie bakes, but I really like these. Uh, they are quite expensive on the crabs, but that's why I have a million crabs, as we know. So, I'm wondering what everyone else's default revival food is. Let's do... Um... 19? To 100? Oh. Of course, we're over 100 now. Anyways. Perfect! Apparently my math is off anyways. <laughs> that was actually quite helpful. Hey, little guy! Pardon me! Alright, bye-bye. I want this. But I will definitely need to play more for that guy. Um, I actually don't need it, do I? I was going to say I need it for my... Oculus Resonance Stones. What? Huh? Why not? He's not dead, is he? But he was fine when we put him away. What on earth? Let's deploy Diluc, I suppose. What happened to Razor? Oh no, little guy. Did you somehow die in the party menu? What is going on? We're going to hunt. I mean, there he is. Want me to come along? That was very mysterious, but you know what? It's okay. Freeze. Let's get the box. A crude sack. I guess we're investigating. We're just picking up a bunch of random stuff whilst we investigate. Let's read our random stuff, shall we? Um, crude sack. It contains some slightly damp objects. It might have fallen from a merchant vessel. And our used training dummy. A wooden stake of very common design. It doesn't seem special in any way other than its slightly smaller bulk. It bears some signs of use, and might have been moved here from elsewhere. <gasps> Conch guy! Ooh, we need to go talk to Conch guy! I'm going to try to remember. I don't want to teleport there now, because we can't teleport right back here. But note to self, go talk to Conch guy! 
Are we going to fight this season? I will happily fight this season. She is my good friend. There was a generous period of time when I was fighting every season on the map, almost every day. Oh wait, she's not here! <gasps> Where is she gone? Gathering together here. But Ooh! Why? Hydro mimics? Where did these guys come from? Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly attract them. What object? I see no object. The hydro mimic monsters. What? A contract and must put my personal feelings aside. What personal feelings? Go ahead. Defeat them and recover the relic. Wait, what personal feelings? He doesn't want to fight these guys for some reason? What reason might that be? Enemy reinforcements. Hello, my friends. One with nature, as one with wind and cloud. This will be frozen in time. It's so interesting. Oh, oh, I did not see you there, my friend. Ouch. Sorry, Kazuha. Just won't do anything, but I want the healing. It's just a stone slab. But its design is quite unique. Hey, I think I dodged it. Hey, wait a minute. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. I was going to do my um, transmuter, but you know what? I don't. I can do that on my own time. That doesn't need to be done right now. So wait. Rain outlines your fate. He was saying, "I have a contract and must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead and defeat them." His contract being that he needs to do the work he's been contracted to do. Ooh. He need. Oh my goodness. I did not know that this deposit was here. I am going to mark this. Because I need that crystal ore. Crystal ore. Magical. So he has personal feelings about hydro mimics. I wonder what those feelings might be. Do you think it'll have anything to do with a god who wants to feed it? Since that seems to be the theme today. Alright, don't talk to me yet, okay? You don't see me yet. I'm just mining. You don't know who I am. I'm getting this star conch. I'm thinking about this sacrificial claymore. And if it's really best served on Razor since I don't use him that often anymore. Want me to come along? But I actually I do use him in domains every now and then, so it will stay. No. Darn it, one of the ore. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? That is so rude. She's doing this of her own free will. You're not even paying her. You could be nicer. We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. Oh, stop arguing! What in the world happened? This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. As she said, she has her area of expertise. This she isn't it. She relies solely on guessing, I mean experience, huh. to find anything valuable to take back. Oh, what a waste of time. Uh, I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? Hmm, it is a bit strange. One shouldn't lack general knowledge in their field. Oh, okay. Sure. And you. You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? That's actually a big no-no in the field of archaeology. You're not supposed to assign a monetary value to anything you find. I, is my understanding, I mean, at least. Isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. I assume we show them the items. Oh. <laughs> is that the O of disappointment? What a shame. It is. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex. But they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. What about that stone slab that we found at the last minute and then forgot to read about? The stone slab we found, however, oh, yay. has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! Oh my god, you are so mean. 
You should be more polite, I feel. <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. <laughs> oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. It's so ironic. We find the things that he is going to use to pay us for hiring us. So, it's only valuable for research if there are remnants of divine power on it? Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich. Yeah. Nonsense. I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear. <laughs> if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down. What do you think, Jungli? Also, I love how underneath her name it says archaeologist. Underneath his name it just says Fatui. So one gets the feeling that Jungli, do you have something to say? No, you're trying to get rich off archaeology, and now you're trying to collect the strength of the gods. Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. <laughs> He's striking down his dreams of getting rich, at least. What teacup? Oh, why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the chi thing. Look at those colors, the ambers and the golds. Oh my goodness, what a good shot. Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. See? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. Huh. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Terai next. I get the feeling that he just wants to use her knowledge where it's strongest in order to find something valuable. All right, let's get our ore. Thank you. Let's speak with him again. Ugh, you're simply a money grubber. And what are you, then? All you think about is digging up valuable relics every day. Sounds like a dream. They're still arguing? Ugh. Let's not bother them. <laughs> Moving on. So, we still need to hear the story about what went down with the God of Salt, and I still want to know what Zhongli feels about the Hydro Mimics, and I still want to fight this season, who was not there when we first appeared. Hey, bestie! Let's have at it, shall we? There you sword? That's really funny. Frostbite. Into the wind. Take that! <laughs> Running away. Out of the way. I sense you're about to shoot electricity at me. I don't want to be there when you do. I'm gonna shoot electricity at you. It's actually incredible because I remember it used to take me so long to fight these seasons. And that was with using the Hida too. Hee <laughs> hee. Now we're just flying through these things. Oh, over there! <gasps> Ooh! No wonder I couldn't open this seal. It's part of a quest. I'm sorry, is that a person? Oh, good. No, it's just a pedestal with salt on it. You know what? I get the feeling that this used to be maybe an altar of some sort or just somewhere to pay respects. It's kind of a shame that it's so dilapidated now. Let's go find our people. Yeah, look at all these salt... What would you call this? A salt lantern? Actually, is this where they're- are they collecting salt here? I don't know enough about salt mining or salt refinement to identify if this is maybe some sort of device that extracts salt from salt water. I could see that being the case here. There's Sincetias. Unfortunately, I need Sincetias, so we are going over here first. And I see sparkles over there. What wood did I get? Oh, good. I need a lot more wood. Okay, investigate. Investigate. Ooh! <gasps> Diary Roald the Adventurer! Nice! See, this is why you investigate every single sparkle. You'll never know when it's actually a book. Salterare! I'm so happy. Ruggy! Mine. Ooh, hey, big guy. I'll fight you. Alright, come closer, why don't you? So, we're gonna do this. And then let's get some electricity going. Down. And ultimate. 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 Over this. 
some of that. Back to you. Oh, and he already has his thing back. That energy recharge that we gave him. Oh wait, where are the other guys? Where did they go? <laughs> okay, guess we're done. This way. I was going to see if there's any chests, but there wasn't. Dodge this. We're going this way. Little boat here. Did we boat here? Can you imagine how salty this water must be? Oh, I can just, I can taste it now. Salt water is, whew, very powerful. I heard that Salturai was once the home of the god of salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there are sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. This is kind of the worst because he took her insistence that she's only an expert in the god of salt and the history and culture around the god of salt to try to exploit that knowledge for all that it's worth. According to legend, the people of the god of salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. Also, that's a really pretty name. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. I want those fireflies. Oh, good. That's just great. <laughs> if I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. This guy is great at sounding angry. About that, I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. Nobody has been able to break the seal. I love the way the seals look in this game. They're gorgeous. Ooh, you know what? You could almost say that that centerpiece is some astrological reflection. It looks like orbits to me. A light spot, a dark spot. Light spot, dark spot. Light spot again. And... Oh, it's changing. Wait, I'm going to see if it's actually changing or if it's just the overlap that makes it look like it's changing. No, it's not. It's not changing. Okay. So, and then there's one light spot on the outermost ring. So this could be... Carbon? <laughs> um, A very, very stylized model of, or a version of the Boer model. Also, don't, don't come at me for how I say Boer. I don't know how to say his name. I just say it like how it looks like it reads. Boer? Is that his name? Who knows? I don't know. I've never heard it out loud. I probably have. I just don't remember. Or it could be something to do with a moon and an anti-moon. But then I don't understand why there would be different rings. I'm very curious to know if this centerpiece has anything to do with whatever astrological situation is going on in this world. Because I have no idea what's going on in this world when it comes to the sky being fake. So I'd love to have more insight into that, but I don't know if we'll get much from this. Anyways, moving on. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but... When I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. Is it related to the God of Salt's people? Is it related to Rex Lapis? I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. But I'm pretty sure the seal is meant to hide some kind of long-forgotten truth. The God of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. Unless this shameful secret would completely reverse your opinion of her. Am I going to get hit by lightning again? Am I going to get hit by lightning in Lewe? That would be so ironic. So, the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. This doesn't sound like something the Lord of Geo would do, though. I, I feel like both Vega and Paimon are very studiously trying not to look at Chumli right now. Who cares about all that? <laughs> It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if the seal isn't broken. I'm down to break a seal. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little <laughs> seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. I feel like this will actually be our wheelhouse, right? If there's treasure, we're able to get it. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhongli may not know all of its secrets. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? I may know something about it. Oh, yes? Wh what Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. 
Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Yes, let's. Okay, since Mr. Zhongli says so, follow me then. I don't recall seeing a mechanism around here, but it has been a long time since I was here. Um, that way. Alright, back over the water we go. Hmm. I don't know if that really saves us any time. Can I beat up this tree? No, I can't. That's alright. That way. What is that? Am I seeing the mechanism or am I just seeing wheat or something in the distance? I am seeing the mechanism. I see. It's like the thing that was outside of um scattered here that when put together wants you in. Look like they definitely had to do with the god of salt. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. <sighs> See that? A pedestal? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Ooh. Uh, another? Let me lead the way from here. Are you familiar with this area? I kind of feel like he might have set the seal, but probably to protect the God of Salt's legacy or something. Um, I was ooing not because there was a second mechanism. We knew that because the quest told us there's a second mechanism. I'm ooing because my co-op has been disabled. One of those quests, eh? This place seems familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've heard a lot from various researchers about the struggles of researching without a vision. So it makes sense that you'd be able to hire or partner with someone with a vision in order to do research. I bet researchers with visions are in very high demand. Oh, I'm thinking about all the scholarships you could get if you had a vision. Oh no. Oh, I'm jealous. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. Otherwise, the seal will not be broken. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liyue is vast. Yet even one haven is hard to find. Okay. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? I, I think I've heard this saying before. <laughs> Just ignoring him. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the god of salt. To provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War. This benevolent god searched all across Liyue. Oh, we're finally getting to the story, aren't we? At that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even one sliver of peace was a luxury. And that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. Did it have a different name in the past? How sad, then. Mm. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by Morax. We don't know yet what happened. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Whatever happened doesn't matter as long as we can get inside that ruin. Tianhong in the south, <laughs> Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. Yes. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. I'll do my best. It's very interesting that this puzzle is Electro. So... Which one is southernmost? Down here? Is that south? I'm going to assume that that's south. To my right? Yeah. It's interesting that these are electro, and I'm wondering also what treasure will be inside the, um, the seal. I'm almost getting the feeling it's going to be literature, records of some sort rather than gold or jewels or gems or anything. Now, did I light these up before and nothing happened? I almost feel like I've done these before. Just waiting for my recharge. There we go. Oh, I attracted the attention. Let's just do this. Give me something to do while I'm waiting for my ability to come back to me. Oh, missed one. All right, this guy's next. 
but then I need north. There you are. Just waiting. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be books, records about that time. I don't know why. I think it's because Xingqiu has been hoping for long lost ancient literature. Oh, oh. Look, Very nice. The seal really was broken. Mr. Zhang Li is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. <laughs> now, it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. He almost sounds a bit sad. Now, I want to believe that he had a reason for doing what he did. Things are probably not as they seem. But I am very curious to know what his reasons were. Before Paraguay's. entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between <laughs> you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Look at him expressing his disapproval. Okay. What is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, <laughs> stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. I won't take any either. Hey! Don't pass an opportunity like this up so easily! I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the god of salt. I, I, I can't accept this. I can't believe it just suddenly stopped raining like that. Is it supposed to be raining during that part? And then it gets sunny? Is that deliberate or was it just a coincidence? Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon... I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. <laughs> you will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this! <sighs> okay then, even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Shongli. What's that? If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly, even if the truth harms Morax's image. I'm sure he will. I can accept this arrangement. Yeah, he's that kind of guy, you know? Well then, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy it's open! I was so curious. Wow. That looks really cool. That's gorgeous. Is that violet grass? Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. You don't mind if I do. I need, um, a thing. Claymore. I just don't wanna. There we go. Plunging attack. Is this an answer from this world? It's another way to do it. <laughs> Um, okay. I think I got everything in this room. Ooh, look at all the coil lapis. I don't need it, technically. Noctilucus Jade. I also don't need any. But we're going to collect it anyways, because I think I'll probably get a chest for it or something. Cool it. Don't get frostbite. No, my sword. Ooh, ooh, yep, okay, great. We got through their shields and we got some of the jade. Great. Ooh, there we go. There's more jade for us. Can I freeze you yet? There you go. Down. Interesting that it didn't bring the jade over here, though. I'm still trying to figure out if Kazu has the ability picks things up or if it doesn't. Man, it is gorgeous in here. Where's all that water going? Oh, I guess it must be an underground river. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the lighting in here. Oh, look at us on the mini-map underneath the water! That is so cool. We have ruins, ruins, looking for more chests. We have some lily pads. Lotuses, that is. Could collect the lotuses, but I will not. Oh, look at these formations! Very cool. What are these? Basalt columns? Nice fish. Hey, guys! One with nature. Indeed. One with nature. Let's get this snapdragon. Oh, I'm so tempted. Also, 
This Corlapis is very heavily associated with Rex Lapis, isn't it? So it's interesting that there are so many of it in this um, salt ruin. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I was sneezing. That came out of nowhere. It's all the dust in this dusty ruin getting to me. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling that he and the salt god were probably actually quite close. Considering there's all the score lapis here. Could be wrong, but... I want to know what's going on. I would very much actually like to know what's going on. Oh, here we go. Ooh, is this a dungeon? That looks like a dungeon opening. Of mysteries and salt. Recommended elements is Geo. Oh, I should definitely have Geo. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm going to go teleport to a statue. Oh, look, we're almost in Dragonspine. You know what would actually make my day? Look, oh, Mount Yogo. You can see it. Is if... <laughs> sheer cold came into effect in this little dungeon that we're in I would be quite pleased uh, what would be faster from here or from here Let's, I want to see how long it takes to get there from here just because we came from the other direction already if I ever need to get back there quickly I want to know if this will help I know this is higher so maybe we can fly down Oh, we will definitely be able to fly down. Delightful, so that is faster. It has been so long since I have been Geo. I will have to keep in mind that we lose our um, energy regeneration boost. I think it will be okay. I've been really enjoying quite high energy regeneration, but I should probably not get too used to it. And we also have some very good energy regeneration artifacts on all of our teammates. I think it will be okay. Oh no, this fish! I killed it! Sorry, fish. <laughs> Must have been during that fight with the slimes. So. Oh, this is so fun! I'm Geo! Okay, let's think about this. Um, no superconduct, no electro charge, but yes, crystallize. Nothing on animo, though. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> How was I not expecting this? I was not expecting this. Look at that. The coat. It's mine. Oh my goodness. The way the buttons glisten. The clasps. Gorgeous. Gorgeous design. Look at all the salt in here. And look at this. And look at these people. A bizarre looking statue that appears to be made of salt. Do you think the god of salt... Uh, are these... Statues? No. These are people. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> they course. were probably followers of the God of Salt. Yeah. How did they become this way? How do you think? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? Do you think the God of Salt was corrupted by the demonic abilities? What are you looking at? Or something? Maybe he's looking down because he's sad about this. Anyways, okay. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. That is so beautiful. That is so cool. Wait, wait, wait. He kicks it? He kicks it. Wait, wait, wait. I have to see that. That is fantastic. I love that. Okay, what on earth do your skills do, though? Because I have no idea. Vortex Vanquisher. Well, that's very fitting, isn't it? Um, increases shield strength. Gotcha. And scoring hits on opponents increases attack. While protected by a shield, the attack is increased. Well, the attack increase is increased. Interesting. This sharp polearm can seemingly pierce through anything. When swung, one can almost see the rift it tears in the air. Oh, wow. Artifacts. Um, noblesse. That's not a set I'm very familiar with, but I do have a couple. Elemental burst damage and burst increases attack. Constellation? Three. Interesting. There he is! It looks so cool. He's It looks like he's wearing a robe in this image, almost, or something. Something with very long sleeves. At least that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Oh, Rain of Stone, Dominus Lapidus, and Planet Befall. Resonant Waves. Okay, what is this? Um, Press makes a stone steely. Hold 
causes nearby ge geo energy to explode. Um, creates a stone steely, creates a shield of jade, scales of HP, deals AoE damage. Huh, nearby targets with the geo element will drain a large amount of geo element. Oh, like a shield! Interesting. When created deals EOE, intermittently resonates with other geo constructs dealing EOE. EOE? AOE. It's geo construct. You can only make one at a time. And then his shield. So you press. So hold will just put one down, but press will put one down and create the shield. When we fall, brings a falling meteor down to Earth. Interesting how they call it Earth and not to that. Interesting. Dealing massive geo damage and applying petrification status to them. Oh, interesting. There's not waves. Geo Jade shield takes damage, it fortifies, increases shield strength, stacks five times. That's super interesting. So it gets stronger over time and then it vanishes, I guess. Deals bonus damage based on his HP. That's interesting. Arcanum of Crystal. Oh, that's fun. Of course, that fits him so well. Refunds 15% of the ore used to create poem type weapons. Delightful. Okay. Okay, so. Stabilize. There's that shield. Now, I've seen Zhongli in action before because Minty has him. I've just not really used him myself. Okay, shield. How long does it last? Quite a while, one assumes. There's the door of resurrection. I need to go that way. Look at how gorgeous it is in here. My goodness. Can I get up there, do you think? Maybe naturally I will. I could try flying that way, but I don't think I should. <laughs> For once, you will stay on the path. Okay. Ooh. And there's this. So it should be doing damage. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Intermittent damage. And because it's geo damage, they keep, um... Where are you? They keep crystallizing. That's fun. That's actually really nice. You'll get... Why? My dear friend. He can't climb. Can he not climb? Is he not allowed to go into the air because he's a... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe he can climb. Oh! There we go. There we go. Hooray. Okay, looking around. Yeah, they really want you to do that, don't they? They don't want you to climb. So he can't climb, just for whatever reason, he can't climb that stuff. Oh, I've been a fool. I was looking for chests and I looked a little bit too hard. Whee! I love the buildup of salt all over this place. Hello! Ooh, mysterious artifact. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at this guy like begging for his life. Goodness. Oh, I didn't examine the adherence! Please allow me to. Look at this! It's filled halfway with salt! Is it some sort of timekeeping piece? Uh, just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. Surprisingly, you have a terrible instinct for what would be valuable and what would not, don't you? According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. So it's like the embodiment of the power of salt? Also, it seems like the god of salt was a glass half full type of person. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? That could destroy the world, by the way, if you were to just keep pouring that into the water. Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Quiet. Finally, after all that effort, I've found precious treasure. I claim this is mine. Oh, they're going to fight over it, aren't they? I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune. <laughs> you look so happy. I mean, technically, yeah, you could make a fortune off salt. Hey, how can you use a relic of the god of salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. And this was your plan all along, wasn't it? Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> but how can anything be worth more than this rare find? And he sure changed his tune quickly, when originally it was, this thing looks useless. Since we have a contract, it's no use for me to fight with him. Then let's move on, shall we? 
Good, I get to examine the salinified adherent. Salinized. So instead of petrified, it's salinized. He is transfixed in earnest posture. No, perhaps he was also afraid? Yeah, I feel like something went terribly wrong with the God of Salt. Oh, the sound of salt falling. There it is. You can see it there. I was wondering where that was coming from because the uh, the device is gone. Aw, look at those geo enemies. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, something happened here. Hello, everyone. Oops, sorry, Zhongli. Let's get everyone down, shall we? Ooh, wait a minute. You know what I should do? I'm Geo, aren't I? Let's do this. I want to see what'll happen. Oh, my rock died. That's what happened. Oops. Why did I just... I just heard a sound that sounded so similar to the sheer cold warning. This thing is completely sideways. Though, look at that face. That's so gorgeous. Look at this design, actually. I love how it, like, matches his outfit. Also, it's sideways. Oh, it was on the thing, that's why. Okay, so, something, something geoconstructs, right? Um, that thing? Oh, you're hurt. Ooh! Yeah, look at it! They're talking to each other, that's so cute, they're friends. And I'm only allowed to do one, right? I'm allowed to do two, it must be because of his constellations. Let's take a look. Rock the backbone of Earth, yes. Increases the maximum number of stone steelies to two. Stone, the cradle of jade. That's These are such cool names. Planet Befall, that's the ultimate. Grants nearby characters on the field a jade shield when it descends. Jade shimmering through darkness. Increases the level of Dominus Lapidus by three. Topaz, unbreakable and fearless. Lazuli Herald of the Order. That is an interesting name for a talent on the Geo Archon. Herald of the Order. Because that makes me think of Abyss Order Heralds, you know? Curious. I wonder if he has a connection to the Abyss Order. Chrysos, Bounty of Dominator. What is Chrysos? And the Jade Shield takes damage. 40% of that incoming damage is converted to HP. Single instance of regeneration. Interesting. I'd love to see that in, in Every action. Every journey has its final day. Oh. Don't run. Aww. What a sweet line. I think I've heard that one before. Ooh, I know what to do here. We can put down, if we were one, if we were, had one constellation, we could stand on the other one. I mean, if we didn't have that constellation, we could stand on the other one. But, we have his constellation and we have my rock, which we could have used. I want to clean up these cobwebs. Alright. Hello, are you alright? The answer is no. Is this the sword that we were talking about earlier? Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, just a simple ruler. Oh, it's it a ruler. Be worth anything. Are you kidding me? It's glowing. It's gorgeous. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. Is this the thing that's petrified everybody? When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. Interesting. Where does that salt come from? Is it drawn up from the earth, or is it generated? The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. Zhongli, I need, I need you to tell me, does this world follow conservation of mass, or are you guys just creating things out of nothing all the time? Because I'm thinking about this geoconstructs, I'm thinking about how Ningguang wanted to tax them, or wanted them to be exempt from tax, I think that was the one. And they just appear. And then they disappear. And I mean, speaking of the other elements, same with Xingqiu's rain swords and Kaya's ice thing. Is there conservation of mass in this world? That's what I want to know. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. I mean, I would say that the um, the chalice is better because it's neater. You can just pour it into whatever container you want it in. This one, you'll have to sweep everything up. And you'll have to sift it out again. No, unacceptable. I paid for and organized this entire expedition. Why should I get the short end of the stick? Because you were rushed the first time. And this girl has been useless. Why would she get anything? Oh, boy. Here we go again. 
<laughs> sigh. And while we're on the topic of useless people, oh, don't say that. I'm just gonna sigh. So you are saying you want to break the contract? <laughs> So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you. I'm thinking about the fact that this whole quest started with a little discussion about how, theoretically, all the gods that Rex Lapis killed were those who had broken their contracts. <laughs> I just feel like breaking a contract that you made with Rex Lapis right in front of Rex Lapis seems like a terrible idea. I cannot wait to see what happens. Let's not forget who hired who here. Why should I let you make the rules? I mean, you agreed to them already. Because you agreed to a contract. Indeed. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. I love how he's so level-headed, but he still sounds a little angry right now. <laughs> he's very displeased. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I will suffer the wrath of the rock. <laughs> you may find it rather unpleasant. The extremely flat look he gives him. Oh, I'm excited. Are we going to fight him now? Pay your dues. Oh, oh, he became one of these guys. All right. Let's put down one of these, get our shield. Put down another one. And I notice we have our ultimate. Oh my goodness, it is a long cooldown, isn't it? Where is he? He's over there? Let's just keep fighting him. Oh, you are exploding me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's just do this. <gasps> He's petrified! Look at him! Wait, that was so cool! Oh, but then I absorbed the Geo from him because his ability absorbs Geo. That is really funny. I unpetrified him. Oops. Wait, this is fantastic and I'm enjoying this immensely. Put that down. And if we just keep him near the pillars, I don't even have to hit him. They'll just keep hitting him for me. Look at all these shields I have. Ooh, we can do it again! Hehehe. <laughs> I shall uh. confiscate your treasure as well. Oh my goodness, and the, the rock is still there. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. <gasps> Leave this place. Wait, it's really interesting how it goes through him, but not through any of the other characters. Do you see that? As it's, what is it called? As it's resonating. It resonates with him a little bit almost, you could say. I don't know if that's what's happening. But it, it just, it didn't go over any of the other characters. It was only him. That was oh, cool. Darn you. Just you wait. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Some archaeological survey. He could only pretend for so long. At least we had our guard up. I hope you never become as greedy as him, Paimon. Hey, Paimon likes Mora, but Paimon doesn't do bad things. Agreed. Let's just hope it stays that way. Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed, there are many other things that may tempt us to break contracts. Oh, such as? When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? Is that what happened with the God of Salt? I think we should be honest with each other now. Oh yes, we're going to ask Wan, what's her name? Wan Yue? About what she's really doing here? Huh? Be honest about what? That in truth, not a single member <laughs> of this archaeological expedition came here for archaeology. Indeed. Why do you say that? Wan Yan, that was her name. Miss, you lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding the God of Salt. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what connection she has to her. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Galley are passed down between generations at Yinyuan Hall. My guess is that she's descended from the people who used to be the God of Salt's people. Yinyuan Hall, what is that? Okay, that's enough. Sir, you are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. I seem to have been right to seek you out once I plucked up my courage. You plucked up your courage? You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. 
I come from one of the eight trades under the jurisdiction of the Chi Sing, Yin Yuan Hall of the Salt Industry. Wait, I thought it used to be seven. Aren't there seven Chi Sing? Oh dear. Maybe it's seven Chi Sing, but they control eight different trades. I don't recall. Yin Yuan Hall of the Salt Industry. Okay, cool. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago. When the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. Exactly. Oh, all right. Yeah, come to think of it, I've never heard you say Rex Lapis. Yeah, she always says Morax instead of Rex Lapis. Oh, right! Now that you mention it, the people of Leah very seldom use the name Morax. During the war, Morax assassinated our god out of envy for her power. He left us alone and lost in the world. We... we hate him! But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. This is such a cool quest. I'm really enjoying this. I loved how we're getting to see a different perspective on Rex Lapis. Because usually these story quests are about the character that they're about. But it's really interesting because we've seen so many people praise Rex Lapis. That now we're finally starting to see some people who, you know, don't like him as much. This is fantastic. I love it. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. He has blood on his hands and cruelty in his heart! Uh. Ooh, what do you have to say? We agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? You must judge this history fairly. Naturally, of course. But I must add, Liu is no longer Morax's Liu. That's true. Come with me. All the answers you seek lie ahead. It's the Liu of the people and the Adepti now, isn't it? I'm very curious about these answers. I'm so excited. I love these lamps. They're so cool. All right, moving on. But they look like they're made out of Rex Lapis. <laughs> Wait. Excuse me. They look like they're made out of Core Lapis, which again is very tied to Rex Lapis. So I wonder if the fact that they're glowing is representative of the fact that his power is still active here or if Corlapis just does that. Now give me one second, I'm going to drink a little bit of water because I keep coughing. I'm back. John Lee summoned a meteor while I was gone, apparently he got that bored. Okay, let's see. Um, where am I going? Over there. Oh, I see. Alright, let's go here. Oh, let's give ourselves some extra height. Solidify. I notice I can't aim this. It just goes, I guess, the same distance ahead of me every time. There's a pressure plate here. And if I step off of it, yep, okay, I need to put this guy down again. Stabilize. Let's get up. So we have the height. Fly over. We get a chest for our troubles. But no chest to lie in, unfortunately. Oh, but you know what I could do? I could go in here. I can't go in here. Wait, 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 wait. What was the name of his constellation? Lapis Dei. That makes sense. God of Stone. Okay, um, do you think if I put it down right in the middle, it'll resonate with all of them? Is that how you can? Aha! That is very nice. That's super cool. Hey guys! I'm actually gonna hit you... Actually, no. First, I'm going to do... Darn it. I wanted to get a shield up. Here we go. Okay. Now we'll go up. And down. No, my sword. And grab this thing. And go to Kazuha. Why don't you come a little bit closer? I want to extract Geo from your shield or something. Maybe I, I think I need to put down another Steely in order to do that. So instead, I'm just gonna do a little bit of damage whilst I wait. Lovely. Ooh, yeah. See how his shield is almost entirely destroyed. And he's getting damage from this two Steelies behind him. I could do his ultimate. I kind of want to save it, though. But what if I don't need to fight anything again? It would be a shame to waste this it. Is this is the one opportunity I have to use this character's skills, so... Solidified. I should definitely do it as much as possible. You know what? I have a Hydro character. We might as well use it, you know? Get the shield. And you are not Zhongli. Nature. But I'll still take you up on your offer to help. Stabilize. Yeah, you can't aim at all. Alrighty. Nothing to pick up. 
Farewell, sweet salt. Examine the broken sword. Alrighty, what happened? What happened here? Oh, I love the salt. Just visuals. A sword? It's beautiful. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a broken sword! This is proof! This proves that the god of salt had to fight back. Fight back against the evil Morax. But sadly, she was defeated. I would argue that this sword does not in fact prove anything, but I would like to know its story. Oh, I missed a carrot! Oh no. The power of this sword surely is much greater than that of the salt chalice and salt ruler. If we can repair the sword, then we can show the world the mighty power of the god of salt. Mm. It does look like something left behind after being defeated in battle. But the fact... Excuse me. But the fact that it's up there on that little display makes me think that the victor, in this case Rex Lapis, picked it up and made this little shrine as a dedication to the fallen god. That's not something you do when you mercilessly kill someone. Two pieces of a broken sword. From an archaeological perspective, these are two separate relics. According to the contract, you can only claim one. W why We were alternating claims to treasure, true. But Clement is no longer here. Yes. But the only one object per claim clause still holds true. You cannot take two relics at the same time. Oh, interesting. <laughs> this logic! <sighs> um... Zhang Li, she seems like a good person, and no one is fighting over the treasure. How about you let this one slide, huh? But then he would be breaking his contract. When there's a contract, nothing <laughs> can be allowed to slide. If the contract <laughs> is not followed, then it is broken. Look at his face. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored! You sure you want it to be restored? Look at how many people are frozen into salt around here. What do you think happened? No matter what, I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. Oh, here we go. So you are already decided? Hmm. Then there is a price to pay for breaking the contract. Also, her subtitle changed to God of Salt Devotee. Shang Li! That is to say... You consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. <laughs> He's really just laying down the law all over the place during this quest. That, that's okay. The god of salt gave up her life to protect her people. My sacrifice is nothing compared to that. Punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. No, you can't hit her! Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her. But... Oh yeah, technically, the Wrath of the Rock is not defined. It could take many forms, no? As punishment, I will tell you the truth. Ooh! Oh, she's not gonna like it, is she? Huh? I love this. The truth? You mean the truth is my punishment? It's probably going to alter your worldview a little bit. Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for breaking the contract. Oh, this is an interesting song. Wait, this is- is this Liyue music? This is almost Dragonspine music. Doesn't it sound like Dragonspine music? Anyways, it's very mournful, it's very beautiful. And I'm curious to see, if he- if she hadn't broken the contract, how would he have told her this information? I get the feeling he was going to tell her anyways, because that's what she wanted to hear. And in this case, he's just making her hear it. I'm afraid to say that the God of Salt Havria was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the seven. Actually, this isn't even Dragonspine music. I think it's just Mondstadt music. We are very far underground, though. <gasps> what? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. Oh dear. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. Oh, this is just like what happened in Inazuma. Because the serpent god fled the war, and then later was 
cut down by the Electro Archon as possibly punishment for trying to escape it. So one gets the feeling that, yeah, Celestia or the Heavenly Principle, somebody really wanted the Archon War to happen. So that might be what happened here. That, just like in Inazuma, the Archon who then won control of the area was forced to slay the god that tried to flee. However, or during something. such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No! No! It can't be so! In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... this sword... This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Oh dear. Murder weapon? Yikes. No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! As I said before, I only state the facts. Oh, like the discussion at the beginning. Preposterous! So then who killed her? You are a follower of Morax! Don't try to trick me! You were willing to believe him before. And now when he says something you don't want to hear... Hey! hey come back! That was too much for her to take. What you said is really is true, isn't it? Indeed. Otherwise, why would I use the truth as punishment? I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract was broken. What was he going to tell her instead? Do you think he would have taken a hit to his own reputation in her eyes and lied to her and said, Yeah, it was Morax. If she hadn't broken the contract. I feel like he might have, to be honest. So then whose sword is this? Who killed her? And Let's why? follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear. We will find something that will leave her no choice but to face the truth. Alrighty, let's do. But also, I'm so curious what the song is. I'm going to look it up. Right? This is Mondstadt music. Give me one second. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, bag. There we go. This is how I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm Our back. Samantha's oh! Wine <laughs> okay, I'm back. And, yeah... I was just- I just listened to, like, the entire Monster album, little bits and pieces here and there. And I think this sounds extremely similar to either Forlorn Child of Archaic Winds or Forsaken Child of Ancient Where do Times. Where you want to go next? Oh. If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Both of which are songs from Dvalin's Nest. So, how interesting. Osmanthus where are we right now? Oh, we're off the map. We're like, we're here somewhere. Wow, how interesting. We got a Devolin song here? The same That's really interesting. I wonder why. That rock looks like a heart. Why did, why, how on earth did we get Mondstadt music here? Am I, am I wrong? Let's see, let's see. Oh no, it's not loading. No, that's definitely the melody right there. Yeah, how curious. Uh, are these statue thingies running? Yes, indeed. We find a head. I wonder. Salt and betrayal. Are you all right? He seems to have been fleeing from something, no doubt suspecting that something terrible was afoot. Salt and betrayal. Yeah, I, it, I mean, definitely it was the God of Salt who did this. He seems to have been fleeing from something. No doubt sus suspecting something terrible. I'm trying to see if maybe more and more will be added to each one, but no. We're gonna find one that says, it looks like this one tripped. No, I'm kidding. It's too serious for a joke like that. These salt structures are so beautiful, but also quite deadly, aren't they? What have you realized, Wanyan? What did they see? What did they do? What... what happened? 
I would also like to know this. Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. And let the facts speak for themselves? That which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. Oh? <laughs> I definitely get the feeling that he's the one who sealed this place off. Did you see how easily he just opened that door? It lit up with geo energy and suddenly it was open. Alright, what have we found? I almost want to... Can I... Let's see, wait. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Alright. I just had a change of setting on my computer. I should now be able to do this. It just seems like a moment to be walking for. Let's talk to this guy. Can we talk to this guy? No, we cannot. Do you hear that? It almost sounds like wind chimes. Devon, what is your music doing here? Do you think this is where the god died? No, it looks like... Oh, was it one of her own devotees? Who killed her? This is probably the finishing blow that we're seeing right here. He once held something in his hand, upraised in a pose of supreme effort. This must be the one who... Yep, that's the one who did it. Oh, we're running again. Okay, interesting. This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated, leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <sighs> yeah, it's probably very upsetting for her to see. <laughs> uh. The story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in wartime. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. Oh, geez. Really? Do you think she wanted that? Oh, this is a little messed up. Oh, this is a little dark, actually. But what about these statue thingies? Do you think she deliberately turned everyone to salt as she went? I don't think she would do that deliberately. Probably it was an accident? No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. And I get the feeling that the people didn't realize that this action would have consequences. Otherwise, everyone else would have evacuated while one person was there to deal the blow. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Ah. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyua where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants and lived in terror that she had laid upon them an eternal curse. So they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might be appeased. Look how shocked she looks. But they need not have done so. For how could a god who had never once resisted, even till the end, nurse hatred for her people in her heart. I'm so curious how a god is created. Was she born a god or did she become a god? Because if she's so gentle, was she chosen to be a god or was she accidentally a god or... I'm curious. Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! This must be a lie. A false history. All of it. I mean, you can literally see it frozen in time. Don't you dare try to shake my faith. Yikes. Xiang Li didn't show any mercy this time either. I kind of love that, that the punishment was the truth. That's fantastic. This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately, simply recognizing the truth is good enough for now. Do you hear them? The wind chimes? That's not in real life, is it? it shouldn't be, there's no wind chimes around here. It's so pretty. You seem all too familiar with what happened to the God of Salt. You didn't just hear rumors about the way to break the seal, did you? Yeah, he's the one who sealed this place off to begin with. No, indeed. 
How sharp of you. Yet this is not a matter of wisdom. Only age. Faith in a god who has already passed will do you no good. I think that his previous sentence translation is that he was there for all this, yeah. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. I wouldn't be surprised if when her people fled to him and he took them under his wing, he heard about what happened. He probably came to check it out just to make sure there wasn't any lingering resentment on Havria's part. Because a lot of the dead gods in the Archon War, that's what caused all this miasma that the Yakshas have to deal with, right? So he probably came to check it out, maybe see if there are any survivors as well, and sealed it, sealed it off at that time, would be my guess. The people of Leoeb will understand that one day. All right then. Now, would you like to accompany me in taking a trip to Guyan Stone Forest? Oh, anywhere. Let's go. You have some plans? Huh? What do you want to do, Zhongli? I think he thinks there's something there that he didn't bring to the attention earlier of that guy. <sighs> <laughs> something troublesome, is it? Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. Oh? Old acquaintances. Oh, I need to investigate. Examine South Flora. Ground Zero. No matter what was once here, not remains but a single flower of salt. Well, flower of salt, you say? Wait, I want to look down. I guess it looks like a flower somewhat. Is that the geo symbol underneath it? Wow. Okay, let's grab this and leave this place behind. Rest in peace, everybody. Let's go to... Wherever it is that we're going, Guyon Stone Forest. Yeah. See? Dragonspine! We're totally in Dragonspine! I'm so happy. But it's interesting because Devolin's music is not a Dragonspine track. I'm so curious about how we got that song in that place. But it definitely fit. Very slow, very mournful, very old. <gasps> Geo Crystal Flies! Hi! Yeah, I got one of them. Going this way? Do I need to go up? Oh, goodness me. Alright. And I'm stuck on time. Alright. Thank goodness for the sledge, my goodness. Okay. Let's get up. And we're going to climb. We are going to climb. Let me begin my stamina. I'm going to climb. Ooh, look, it's it's a Mount Yugo. So cool how you can see it so clearly now. All right, I'm going to regain my stamina and then I'm going to climb up there and I will see you at the top. Or if I find a chest or something, I'll see you when I see that. I'll be right back. Oh no, so there are enemies up here and I'm having a hard time getting to the top of this cliff. Can you believe it? There are enemies up here. Oh no, I need them all to come back so I can swirl them against each other. I remember these guys even. All right, I'm going to wait for them to come back. Cause there's a fire guy. He was attacking me. That's why Kazra lost so much health. Why don't you all come up here? So I can turn you against each other. Or maybe I can just walk away. Maybe, maybe best revenge is living well, and I just leave these guys alone. Darn. Nothing from that tree today. We get. Is he even all the way up here? He is all the way up here. That's really funny. No, my sword. Who do you think he's thinking about? He said all this stuff is bringing to mind an old friend, wasn't it? Let's heal up Kazuha, and then we'll switch back to Vega, and then we'll be at the top of the cliff. There we go. All right, Vega. Oh, let's kill this tree. Come on, shrubbery. Oh, look at that ledge right there. Okay, we are almost there, and look at that sunrise, sunset that's starting to happen. I think it's the sunrise, to be honest. Jungle, look at the sunrise! It's so pretty! Ooh. Oh, you can see Inazuma so well! Now that it's more clear, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now, I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyan Stone Forest. Oh, multiple of them. The Adepti have presently handed Leoa over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. 
That is just gorgeous. The salt chalice and salt ruler that she left behind should not return to Leo. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off. Look at that lighting. To leave them here is to let them slumber. And it is also a homecoming. So, what would you like us to do? I ended an era with my own two hands. I've always wondered how I should remember that which I ended. Is that Dragonspine in the background? Hi, Dragonspine. This is nice. So, we never really got to the part where he explained why he... Well, I guess we did. Why he killed the gods that he did, and I guess it's because they broke some contract or another. We just have to trust him on that point. At least he was not the one who killed Havri, I would know that much. But he's making an effort to acknowledge the people that he killed, I guess? History records, but history may be changed. This incident proved that. Time is a mighty force, and histories twist in its flow. Right, like Havria's, um, what were they called? Yeah, devotees twisting the history to believe that Rex Lapis had killed her. I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Mm, I guess that would be something he'd be concerned about. If one day he leaves this world, he won't be able to tell that which he knows. Stone carvings were one such ancient method, but unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday we may all disappear. Thinking of his line, every journey has a final day. Very apt. Zhongli. Oh. Therefore, I thought of you, traveler. Oh? You are one who crosses the celestial atlas and who oh? passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. Hey, question, how does he know that? I know that we've told the gods that a god kidnapped our brother and we're looking for him, but did we tell them that we're from another world? Wait, I don't remember telling him that. Does he just know this because he's Rex Lapis? And he's able to tell this about us? Does that mean that there have been other otherworldly travelers to this world? How do you know that? Oh, I just, I don't remember if we told him about this. If we just told him about this, please tell me, because that would be the simplest answer. I don't recall telling him that. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and tides of Tevat. So that's why you wanted us to come with you. So you didn't just bring me along to find treasure. <laughs> well, may you find treasure among the stars, even after you have left Tevat. Well, thank you very much. Now, I am the god of wealth, so I would think that my words have some weight here. Oh? Now then, it is time that we consigned both the salt chalice and salt ruler to the that sea. Would, that would destroy the ecosystem. The salinity levels. Zhongli, have you thought of the salinity levels? Huh? Why do we need to throw them into the sea? Or will the sea break them down? As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. Oh, do you think the salt would keep him suppressed? Thousands of years ago, ooh, ooh. the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued every corner of this land. Oh, this is cool. Guyan Stone Forest, what a sight. where I sealed many gods with my spears. Ooh. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Is that us up there? Oh, Sire, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. What a view. <sighs> May that which have has left behind be yours to subsume. Ooh. Oh, he's doing something. <sighs> oh, that looks so cool. And Here thus it goes. another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. 
And you want My them to? My legacy shall now be left to Why? those who come after to debate. That was interesting. What on earth was that about, Zhongli? I will remain here for a while. I fear that moments of reminiscence like this can only grow fewer. I feel a bit bad for the God of Salt. We did not measure right and wrong during the days of the Archon War in the same manner as we do today. Of course, as I am now, I only wish that she could have lived in a gentler time. Oh, that's very kind. But what about the artifacts that we just threw into the sea? I will remain here for a while. I fear that moments of reminiscence like this can only grow fewer. I don't want to cut him off even though we've heard it before. Won't those relics cause this isle to grow in power? Though the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler do have power in their own right, they are nothing before Osayo. If a day comes when he should recover his strength and return, <sighs> I believe that even so, he will be defeated once more. He has quite a bit of confidence in his people, doesn't he? Alright, and there was one more. It was, what will, will you do... Here for a while. What will you that do now? That is a good question. In the past, I might have given you a most specific answer, but now, yes, I suppose <laughs> I will continue in my role as a consultant at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. He's going to go back to work. But if this That's journey really was to your liking, why don't you come along the next time I am seeking to preserve memories of Leo's past? I most certainly shall. I know you have another quest waiting for us, so... Wow, and guide to gold, of course. That's perfect. Aw, I kind of want to just... He's just going to be standing here? <laughs> Forever? Probably not. Probably until I teleport next or something. Which is unfortunate, because we're on top of this big old rock, and I want to go back to Inazuma. So I do get the feeling... Ooh! I do get the feeling that I'm going to be teleporting quite soon. Look at all those encounter points we have. Delightful. This thing really wants me to do some stuff. Don't worry about it, buddy. I'll get there eventually. This means we can unlock another key, which we might need in order to unlock this. Oh, it, spend it takes one. Oh, great. There we go. So we can do that next time. Do we think we want to do that next time, or should I do one of these other ones next time and then get back to Zhongli? I don't know. I'm just going to see where the wind takes me next time. Okay, well, that was Zhongli's quest. Oh, I really don't want to teleport away. I love seeing the models of the characters out in the world. It's so fun. But I do want to get to the conch guy in Inazuma, too. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Zhongli. It was so nice to see you. It was really fun to trial him, too. Let's get back to Inazuma. Where are you, buddy? There you are. And I'm very glad we were able to dodge uh, Liu and Catherine. Because otherwise, we might have been lured into whatever that other quest is. Bye, Zhongli! Hope you're having fun over there. This way? Yeah. So, I feel like that was a pretty straightforward quest. But it also did bring, a, bring up a couple questions. One of my questions is quite simple. It's just, you know, what kind of contracts were all those gods in the Archon War breaking? that brought his wrath down upon them. I'm curious what they might have been. And also, um, at the end there, I don't know why he didn't just leave the ruler and the chalice inside the, um, the salt cave. So maybe it's because since they've been unlocked, darn it. Oh, hey, I'm Gio still. That's funny. Ouch, ouch. Um, since the seal has been broken, people going down there and- Are you really resetting? Fine. Um, could go and take them. He doesn't want them to be taken by anybody. Could be that. Hey, Takashi. I'm just gonna keep going for that left chest. I'm not going to lie. That's- I've given up. I'm just going left. Hello. One's in Sedia. One Sensetia this time. Okay. I'm going to need more um, conches. Let's look for conches. Uh, 
oh goodness, what was I saying? Right, so I don't know why he won't just leave the relics in the cave. But maybe it's because he's worried that someone would come along and take them now. And so he cast them into the sea. And then he said something along the lines of... So more divinity leaves Liyue. And he looked up. And then he said, perhaps... You know, my legacy in the future will be left up to those in the future. And he looked down. Very interesting guy, Zhongli is. He's so open about his thoughts and opinions, and he's also so opaque. We just need to get to know him better, apparently. I think I would have a better understanding of his actions if I did. Which I guess means we should do his second story quest! It's definitely on the list of things to do, but who knows if that will be next time or not, as mentioned. But yeah, that was a really fun quest. I like how thoughtful it was, you know? This moment will be frozen in time. Free. Huh? One with nature. Oh good, Shincho got hurt, but he immediately healed as well. Um, well, that's not the right button, is it? There we go. I want this. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have my Electro with which to hit this guy this time. But I do have Geo! <laughs> oh, I missed. Whoops. Up. And down. I need more conscious. Oh, Electro Archon, please send conscious my way. I see you have sent lightning my way, so I figure if you can do one, you can do the other, no? All these sparkles. Oh my goodness gracious, who was that? It was oh my gosh, that was the the barrel. The ice barrel. I wonder why it exploded this time. Because of the rain? Oh, was it did I have rain swords up? It's probably because of the rain swords, because they do a little bit of damage. Ooh, I got a crab. I don't want really to see any more sp- oh, hello. No, thank you. Really? No, thank you. But if you insist, I shall fight you. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You would think that the shield would help. But it didn't. Unfortunate. Out of those sparks. Back into the sparks. You're still alive! Really? Wait, back to me just in case the swords go away. There we go. Got him. All right, let's get these drops. <laughs> at least Mona will be very happy. Look at how bright the mountain is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, yeah, so that was a fun quest, all in all. I enjoyed it a lot. I really love hearing about Lewa's history. And I do like hearing about the Archon War. We have so many mysteries there left to uncover. And I do feel excited for Zhongli's second quest. I'm really curious to see. Because this will be the first time we've done a second quest. I've only ever done first story quests before. So I'm curious to see if it will build off of what we've seen already, or if it will be an entirely new story. Alright, very well. You wish to fight? I accept. I want these. Yay! Oh, look at the sky! That's so pretty! Nice. Nice shot. Okay. So yes, I'm curious to see if it will be a new story or if it will build off of that one. I get the feeling it'll probably be, this is my guess right now, just instinct based. I feel like it's going to be a new story, you know, involving different people. But it will, they'll want to have some sense of continuity from the previous quest. So it will probably flow from similar themes, would be my guess. Um, old gods in the Archon War and all that. But we shall see. Go. Darn, didn't do any damage because he got his guard up. So impressive, honestly. How these enemies can guard against attacks. Super cool. Alright, I'm still looking for um, shells, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Punches. No, really? Alright, I'm done looking for conches, it would seem. Oh, pale red crab! Yay! Alright, let us go heal. Let's actually go back to Lele. I'm going to go here. Hey, it's our good friend Zhongli. Long time no see, eh? There he is. I'm actually fully healed, I think. Nope, slightly, slightly hurt. I don't even know. Oh, Xingzhou. There we go. Thank you, Zhongli. Okay. Um, let's go put ourselves somewhere nice. We're going to put ourselves right back where we started from. No, nope. right here. Still haven't unlocked that domain, have I? <laughs> Oops. Nice overlooking view of Lewe, and that will be all for today. 
I liked that. It was it was nice pacing, you know? The quest happened, now it's done with, and I feel like it's only been five minutes, but by my clock, it's been two hours, almost two hours? Wow. So, anyways, I had a great time. I hope you did too. It's nice to be back in the I take a little break from Inazuma. And next time, it's probably going to be Zhongli's story quest. And if not, it'll be either another story quest or another Inazuma world quest. We shall see. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now!